Traffic backed up for miles on Interstate 10 East through Winnie. I just encountered heavy traffic down here, so it's not a very pleasant experience, I guess. The cause? This 18-wheeler. I think the speed problem they have in him. Troopers say the driver of the big rig tried to slow down for traffic in the truck jackknifed. The end result? No injuries, but the interstate reduced to one lane for hours. Drivers stuck with nowhere to go except... I mean, it's good for business, like people come in and shop around, you know. Abraham Zavere manages the bingo truck stop off Interstate 10 in Winnie. He has a front row seat to the highway and truckers driving on it. They cut you off and it's kind of gets dangerous, you know. And they drive on the left lane too, slow, so it's like, you know, creates a hazard, you know. It's complacency for the drivers. They've got to get used to being more, you know, uh, on the ball because they do it every day and they can get complacent. And, and uh, not watch what they're doing. Matt McDaniel normally drives a truck. Today, he's in a car. From a uh, car standpoint, is you need to uh, be aware of, of, of the surroundings and exactly how long it takes a truck to stop and to start and to move. And I don't think a lot of people realize that stopping an 18-wheeler is not something you can do right away. The driver of this tractor trailer couldn't. A reminder, one vehicle, whether car or truck, can affect everyone else on the interstate. In Chambers County, Haley Bull, Fox 4 News.